Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. Hey, today we're at the worldwide headquarters here of Casual Observations. It's not a great day to be out trying to get some fishing in, but I did get some stuff in the mail. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing of some cool stuff that I had ordered. And then I'm going to take a, give you a quick little tour, take you through a tour of this catalog of uh, stuff that one of the companies sends out. But anyway, let's get to it and let's unbox this stuff. Let's see if we can do this one-handed here. All right, toss those over there. Let me get this out of the way for now. Okay. So I got a couple of these keeper hooks, and these come from Mr. Twister, and they're the company that was the original in coming out with uh, the keeper hooks. There's like a little pin that goes into the nose of the bait. Other ones that you'll see are the screw types or like a horseshoe. But these have got a weight on them, and these are perfect for um, like stick baits, creature baits, flukes, uh, all kinds of stuff. And I've used these before, and I've had good luck with them. Anything from Mr. Twister, I've always had good luck with. Their Twister mite's really cool. It's like a little Helger mite, uh, soft plastic. All right, so I got these. Let me move those. Then the other thing I got was my stuff from MEPS. And let me go ahead and pull each of these out, and we'll talk about them. Let me get that over there. The first two things I got here that I want to take a look at. It's new for them this year, these bucktails. I got a black and purple one, and this is a quarter ounce, and I've had good luck with like dark blue and purple and browns with northern pike fishing up in Iowa and up uh, up north. Then the other one I got is like a brown and black with like a little bit of um, marabou in it, and essentially each of these packs will have a description of what's going on with this particular lure that you're using. This one says, Bucktail jigs are extremely versatile. They can be used in rivers and lakes, both shallow and deep water. The MEPS Bucktail Jig features the perfect balance of hand-tied bucktail and flashaboo, with the flashaboo being more pronounced in the middle to create more flash. These jigs use a chip-resistant paint and a durable VMC hook, there isn't a bucktail jig on the market with a fuller tail or a larger profile than the MEPS bucktail jig. All right, so I'll be eager to test those out. Uh, I've, I've got some videos, fishing videos, where I've caught some northern pike uh, with some bucktail jigs. If you know um, of Tim Galati or follow his channel, a good friend of his named Don makes hand ties these bucktails. He makes them, and Tim will use them. And I've gotten some of those before, and they're fantastic. And I still have some, and I use those quite a bit. But I'm eager to test those out. All right, let's see. What about these? Uh, okay, so I picked up two long casts, and these are have a heavier body and. This one's in the trout color. It's got like a silver uh, body with a blue tip and the treble. And these are fantastic for northern pike, bass, and uh, walleye. I had a friend catch one on a walleye. Here's one that's got the silver body and the red tip. Red tip and I got this. Both of these are in a four. The thing with these, they're perfect for kind of, if you need to get your bait down, a little bit deeper get the treble down deeper or the spinner and I've also used it um, in kind of I don't want to say quite turbulent water but active water when I've been fishing up in the upper Iowa River or uh, the Turkey River even the Little Turkey uh, these things work great they flow through the water really nice and they're visible and I've caught some stuff on them before and I love the castability of them because of the weight all right, now I got quite a few of these XDs. These are my favorite lures that come from MEPS. And I got these all in the size three. This one is dressed XD, meaning extra deep. And I've caught smallmouth, northern pike. Uh, I even caught a crappie on the smaller size one. And of course, in the last trout video, you saw me catch... Um, on the size one, I believe, is what it was. I caught a trout with it. And the size three, I caught some trout. 
uh, up in Iowa with him in the Driftless area. So I got uh, some of those. Let me get these down here so you can see them. Let's see. We'll save that guy for last. Okay, here's one that isn't dressed. It's another XD. It's got a the dark body. Uh, kind of. There's a name for it. Uh, oh, what is it? Mayfly maybe, or dragonfly. Same thing. This one's in a three. This one's not dressed. It's in the trout color, silver body with the. They call it like the salmon tip or the red tip. That's what I call them. And then lastly, this one's dressed. It's got a silver body with kind of a, a ruby red tip on it. Silver blade. And I've caught them with all different colors of blades, guys. When the sun is out and shining, you know, of course, the silver is going to flash. But on the bronze, I've caught them. Uh, the black blade that MEPS has, the fire tiger. I mean, I've caught them on all kinds of different... Uh, colors okay and this last little one here I got the Cyclops and this is a little Cyclops and uh, this one's for trout fishing this is the one they they throw in if you um, order a certain number of uh, things or spend so much money there they'll throw in a free one and so I got this one in the trout size and I got it with a single hook all right uh, they're just so versatile the their baits i've caught all kinds of stuff with them i've caught gar with them northern pike smallmouth walleye even on the texas coast at port lavaca when i was down there interviewing for a job uh you know i've caught um some sea bass some needlefish uh some sheep's head and you know they're just they're a go-to lure and they're the streamers are great and I'll here in a minute I'll show you some of the other ones the company's great if you ever get up to Wisconsin take a tour through the the MEPS plant there it, it's called Sheldon's <clears throat> and it's uh, a great place they're real nice they'll take you through they they show you how they assemble the lures there uh, the tooling uh, all the the bucktails, the squirrel tails, that uh, how they store the squirrel tails, just and how they color them, all kinds of cool stuff. I bought some stuff there, and Mr. Sheldon was in his office, and it's a beautiful office. He was kind enough to let me go in there, and as part of the tour, and he had all kinds of fish mounted on the wall, and some stuff he'd caught in Alaska. I mean, and we talked about fishing, and the and. The lures, and I told him I was from Texas, you know, spending the summer in Iowa. And uh, he had something in his office with the Green Bay Packers. And I was like, well, you know, being a Cowboys fan, there's kind of a rivalry there. But honestly, I don't mind the Packers too much. But I kind of cheer for them when the Cowboys aren't doing anything. <laughs> so we got a little laugh about that. But, you know, we talked about all kinds of fishing. And I brought in the size one uh spinner aglia that i had caught a massive gar over in lindsay texas and as i was going through the plant and i showed him this the lure and i showed him a picture of the gar and he was just you know but it was a long nose gar and he was like you know <laughs> how did how did why did it hit that little the smallest one almost they have a size zero but this is a size one <clears throat> and then Going through the the assembly part, there was a lady assembling the size zeros and ones, and I showed her the lure, and I said, do you realize that this lure that you probably put together caught this fish? And I showed her a picture of it, and her eyes got real big, and she smiled. And, you know, to see it from a customer that something she put together caught something like that was just phenomenal for her. <clears throat> So I did the tour. If you ever get up there again, it's Antigo or Anago, Wisconsin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, it's a cool place. Uh, let me think. Over in O'Galley, Wisconsin, on a size zero aglia, I was crappie fishing off of a little dock there, and I caught a 12 and a half pound carp. And you think on a spinner? Yep, it was on a spinner. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And there's been some other stuff I've caught with them, uh, you know, like I was saying on the Texas coast. So these are some go-to lures. And I know people are like, well, they're expensive, you know. Hey, I don't mind that. They've got it down pat. They assemble them here in the United States. They know exactly what they're doing. They're perfectly balanced. It goes through lots of testing. And I don't mind spending the money for quality. And I know people can make their own lures or you have this company or that company. And sometimes I'll even test out other spinner baits. But for me and for for what I pay for, uh, I love the MEPS. They're just, they're, they're always fantastic. All right, let me, um, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you is if you ever have a question, just contact them and they'll be more than happy to help you out. I got a hold of them to see if they could make me some custom lures and uh, for a Christmas or a birthday present uh, for someone and they made them and then uh, I had one made for me for trout fishing a custom made one it was on a little wolf uh, and I'll show you that I'll have to go dig it out of the tackle box and show you but they're real nice people and they will help you with whatever you need and if you take the tour oh it's just great uh, with COVID and things, I'm not sure if they're doing them right now. Probably not. But, you know, if you're ever up that way, uh, get up there and fish Minnesota. Get up there and fish Wisconsin, Northeast Iowa. They're just great places to fish. And the variety of fish from muskie, northern pike, walleye, smallmouth. And there's some big smallmouth up there. Largemouth. Uh, and, of course, all the the kind of creek chub stuff, shiners, um, all the sunfish, bullheads, I mean, all kinds of stuff up there. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Let me go get that stuff, and then uh, I'll show it to you. All right, guys, so here is a little wolf, and this is one of the ones that they customized for me. With the, They added some of the, the flash on there, and this is for trout, and this thing is fantastic, and I've caught some smallmouth on it before. So this is one that I told them what I wanted, and they went ahead and took care of it. Here's a bigger Cyclops right here. This one I caught a nice bass on. It's got the big treble. I can get in a single hook if I wanted, but, I mean, this thing is fantastic. Good stuff. And then last but not least, probably my other favorite one that they put out. And there's a whole bunch of them. You just got to go through and take a look at them. But this is a size three streamer. And let me see if I can get this to you. It's got a treble at the back, but also in the middle, it's got that uh, single hook down there. And I've caught bass on these. Oops, I pulled that out of the frame, I think. Uh, I've caught bass, I've got northern pike on them. So these are just a, a, a another great lure and how they're dressed is fantastic. All right. Let's take a look at this. So if you go there and just sign up for it, it's, you know, free. And they don't send you a bunch of junk mail and stuff, but it's the MEPS uh, Master Catalog for 2021. And like I was saying, it's just got all kinds of stuff here. The Bucktails, the Aglia series, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Dressed, undressed, some of these you can get with single hooks, and the combo. I've got tons of these combos. Look at those colors that you can pick with them. The combos, uh, I think in one of my videos this summer in Iowa, I caught a nice smallmouth on a combo. And of course, they always have pictures of people who catch stuff. Maybe one day I'll be in there. And then, of course, the comet minnow. I've never used the minnow before, and some of the other blades I've got, Yaggly along. here's a long cast, there's the Flying Sea, the Bright, the Trophy Series, the E, the True View, here's all the XDs, the Thunderbug, I didn't order any Thunderbugs this time, but I've got some. And they've get, got lures for just about everything. they got the lure packs, all kinds of cool stuff. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, a couple other things in here. The Cyclops, a little, there's the little wolf. These things are fabulous. That little one I had was a one eighth, and it's got, it'll tell you what the sizes are. Hopefully you guys can see all that. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There's the streamers. And of course all the musky stuff with the flash of boo. Got the giant killer. They even have stuff for uh, Alaska. And of course they got stuff that you can order. And they have the awards program which is pretty cool. If you hadn't seen that, check it out. And they're also taking squirrel tails right now. You send in squirrel tails. They'll work out a deal with you, get some lures, or they'll buy them from you. It's just, you know, however you want to work work it out. But they're real nice folks up there, and uh, they'll work with you on whatever you need to get done. So there's the 2021 calendar and the new buck tails that they've come out with this summer. There's another catalog I want to show you real quick. This one was just with, uh, on the coffee table over there. If you're interested in anything Army Surplus, check out Coleman's Military Surplus. Get one of these catalogs. They've got all kinds of stuff from tarps uh, to ponchos, cook sets, tents, socks, t-shirts. Uh, I mean, I got a couple of the undershirts or t-shirts, I think three of them for $11 or something like that. They always have good stuff there. So if you're interested in any kind of military surplus, boots, uh, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, tanks, containers, jerry cans, all that kind of stuff, check these guys out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by the channel and visiting uh, here to see what's going on. And what I'll do is I'll put a couple of links down there for these places. You can go check them out. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.